Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Falcon Plays RimWorld. Last episode, everything went well until, unfortunately, I forgot to unmilitarize a certain amount of people. And one of them just kind of went a little bit batshit insane because of that. And if you ask me, I feel that Funky UNC overreacted a little bit. We're just kind of like, you know, Funky, it's probably been under one day of you waiting. There's no day, no reason for you to go batshit insane and then aim the gun at other people. Obviously, you're being surrounded by like, you no know, 70, not 70, but at least like 12 of the best shooters in the colony. Of course, you're going to get killed, man. It's going to overreaction. So, um, I apologize, Funky UNC. Uh, you will not be forgotten, my friend, because you are in the mausoleum over here of, uh, is it mausoleum? Is that the right word? I'm not sure. But either way, you're there in remembrance. I didn't burn you for turning code on us, by the way. So I could have done it, but I didn't, you know, because I, I felt partially responsible, but I could have burned you for just being a traitor. But, you know, I'm just saying, throwing it out there. Either way, um, last episode, we also caught, uh, cod, I believe, F uh, Fugly or Fuggle, whatever his name is. I've renamed him over to Slime Frog. So Slime Frog, welcome aboard and whenever you're ready to join us. I did set you up for recruitment. I totally did. Alrighty, so let's continue onward. What do I need to do? As you can see, people I've been cleaning. That's the reason why, because I gave a lot of my people the option, or I made cleaning a priority because our base is looking a little bit fucking jagged. So that's done with. We're going to clean everything up, especially over here, which is like kind of like a massacre zone. Not that it really matters, because this area is going to be constantly dirty, so it's going to be kind of a pain to, you know, keep it clean, considering how many raids are coming in nowadays. So, you know, keep that in mind. It's not really that important to keep this area clean but at least everything over here inside the base should be kind of clean you know so oh yeah so what do we need i want to make rooms a little bit prettier i need to make some lights down this hall i, I have a few things to do this episode and we're going to do them how's our power our power is more than amazing oh by the way this guy got built and i never built the steam geyser that we need for it so let's do that because more power to us the better obviously so building geothermal did i set it up correctly i totally did sometimes i amaze even myself so that'll get built at some point or another. And they're cleaning over here. But again, guys, I'd rather have you build than clean. That's always a priority. So the other thing that we should do meanwhile, I would love to actually use this. This requires 500 silver and 500 metal. The silver's not a problem. The metal kind of is, but not too much of a problem. What this does is actually, um, it makes the raiders shoot at this. It just basically draws the raiders away from... You know, our people or our turrets, which wouldn't be a bad thing. Um, I mean, I want to try it out just for the hell of it. You know what? We could be good if I move this like in a corner over here, then they'll feel inclined to come in, right? And shoot at this thing in the corner, and then they won't hang out over here, and maybe our turrets will get a better shot. So let's try it out. I'm going to go ahead and spend the 500 metal that we need for it. We'll see how it works out. I'm interested to check out how it works out. So, uh, combat dummy will be trained, or built, I should say. At least to kind of make things a little bit more interesting, spice things up in the base as well, you know? So that'll get done, and then, meanwhile, we have a little bit of mining to do over here, so let's definitely get involved with that. And let's see here. Ah, uh, where's my mining tool at? Obviously, I forgot, like, how to do this. I haven't mined in a while, so it's just like, wait a minute, mining? What's mining? Uh, let's get this done here. Some of that there, some of that here. Of course, this is all the the uneventful parts of RimWorld, but obviously it goes hand in hand with everything else that you gotta do in RimWorld, so, you know, kinda have to deal with it. Alrighty. Now, the other thing that I wanted to talk about... What the hell happened to my power conduits here? <laughs> well, that's not one of the things I wanted to talk about, but now I want to talk about it and be like, Hey guys, what happened here? Alright, that was probably when the fire was going... well, when that you know, thing from space fell and it was, you know, sending fucking raid and thunderbolts everywhere. It's probably when that happened. But what I wanted to talk about was um, the beds. The beds I've been told recently, I, one of the comments mentioned, I forgot who it was exactly, but they were like, hey Falcon, if you use the pod beds, you get the same benefit as a royal bed. And it probably costs less, or I'm not sure, let's find out. So furniture, pod bed costs 25. Rest effectiveness, 10 out of 10, huh? Royal bed is, uh, so 60 and, oh yeah, oh yeah, royal beds could kind of go F themselves in reality, but at this point it seems like a hassle to do so, right? How about, alright, let's try it out. If I was to deconstruct this guy right here, right? And by this guy, I do hope I'm deconstructing a bed that nobody owns. So, um, yeah, let's forward this really quickly. Somebody come and deconstruct this bed. Please. Please. Just... You know, come on, guys. Amuse my theory. Humor my fucking theory. Somebody coming. Okay, whatever. 
You guys can go F yourselves and it's fine. Alright, so we've cleaned this area out a bit, but there's some dirt here that we still have to take care of. And Dummy's coming along. Door is there. Oh, you know what? I didn't set up. Which is probably a scary thing if I don't. It's some blasting charges inside. Because I would love to have that extra bit of uh, comfort for us. So let's do that there and that right about there. Now this one I didn't set up so it blows up together like this one. Because I do would love to keep a little bit of uh, being able to control where and where I want to have a blast go off. This is fine if it just blows up this whole area here. That's cool. But inside it's a bit more like tactical. So that's the reason why there's a little bit of a gap in between that one. Um... Well, somebody deconstructed a text, man. How much metal are you carrying? 45 metal. Okay. So obviously we could really remove all those beds and like put um, pods in here. So let's try it out really quickly. Pod bed. Oh, and look at that. You can even kind of center this. It's not centered in the middle of the room. I would need like another row for that. But actually, no, it's, it's not that bad. <laughs> all right, put that there. Let's try this out. Obviously, this isn't a priority that we need right now. Obviously, we could, you know, be using our time to do something better than, you know, making pod beds. But, you know what? Let's be a little bit futuristic here and use some pod beds. Why not? A little bit more mining over here would be good. Gamer420 doing his thing. Gamer420 going blaze, right? <laughs> uh -huh. All right, so pie, uh, <laughs> bed here. I apologize for that weirdness. Um, so beds there. All right, you know what? Let's remove, let's switch over to pod beds. And we got Slime Frog. So Slime Frog, welcome aboard, my friend. Uh, you are a Marine, so you're going to be a good shot for us. You're going to have a learning ability, mining. So let's um, go into overview really quickly for Slime Frog over here. And make firefighting a one at all times. And uh, growing a good grower for a Marine. That's pretty interesting. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I mean, I'd imagine as a Marine, you would probably want like a really stress or stress-free hobby. Like, you know, just kind of wait to kind of... Get the fact off that you're killing people and stuff, or, you know, not that you're killing people as you want to, but unfortunately war, that you have to protect your country, is, you know, enforcing you to kill people to, you know, protect your freedoms, your liberties, whatever. So I imagine, I guess, uh, growing and, you know, garden work might be a good, you know, um, hobby for a marine. That's just my theory, anyway. This is coming from a person who's never held a gun in his life, by the way, and if I ever did hold a gun, I'd imagine I'd probably end up shooting myself somehow, even with the safety lock on. So researching is not a big deal. Um, cleaning, yeah, sure, why not? Make this like a, a two. Make him a hauler and definitely a grower because he loves uh, growing. And mining, eh, not really. So let's just keep him as a grower and, you know, whatever. And let's give him a weapon and slime frog. What can I hook you up with, bro? Let me hook you up with this uh, minigun right here. Speaking of miniguns, have we, have we finished building the miniguns that we needed to? It seems that we have. Which is quite unfortunate because I would love to get more miniguns than people, even though we haven't really seen them too much in action, I don't think, because our turrets have been doing work. Uh, you know, we'll get to it at some point. Um, Spool is... okay, it's still coming along pretty good. Geothermal got built, so now what I could do is build one more geothermal here and then roof this over and not worry about any rates falling in here. So, we're gonna definitely do that, just because it gives me a little bit more uh, peace of mind here. So... Let's see how this is going to work first and foremost. Geothermal is going to have to be right here. So the wall is going to have to be built literally right over here. So it has to move over one in order for this to work. So it's going to be kind of a bit of a hassle. I'm going to have to remove stuff over quite a bit. Uh, this is kind of terrifying a bit. I mean, not, not terrifying, terrifying, but it's still it's still a little bit troubling. So first and foremost, let's move the wall, right? That was, should be the first step. So let's uh, deconstruct this, and I hope that doesn't cause a cave-in. I mean, I don't think it should, but... All right, so let's just do it this way first and foremost. Okay, uh, that shouldn't cause a cave-in. Don't cause a cave-in. Don't cause a cave-in. Don't do it. Game. And that has indeed turned off power through the whole base because that was a connecting point, unfortunately. Alright, as long as this goes down, alright, no problem. So now, we'll do metal wall. So obviously the geothermal is going to come in through what area? Through here, right? So the wall has to be down over on this side. So what I will do is metal wall through here. Is what I'm thinking, right? Right. So we'll do that. 
And at the same time, I suppose we could probably extend this a bit now. However, we have no stone blocks to make this a stone area, which is a little bit troubling. But do I really need it? I probably don't. So, yeah. Let's put a metal wall down through here. So let's get this all built up. And once this is built, then I'll take this down. I'll take down the solar generators as well. And I'll have another mining tool bit placed right there. And again, this worries me because it's kind of hard for fighting fires when you can't get on the side of a door of a battery. But, you know, we rarely run into any, you know, knock on wood, we barely run into any issues with the batteries. So we'll see how that works out for us. All right, so that's good to go now. Let's go ahead and deconstruct uh, this right here. Just to kind of even it out a bit. And even it out. Somebody even it out, please. <laughs> it's bothering me otherwise. Uh oh, what happened here? Um, okay. And we have another uh, geotherm. Oh, by the way, I mentioned about this one, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I'll... <laughs> you know what, guys? I mentioned I'll do things, but I, you know, try to get around to them and I kind of forget at times. I haven't forgotten yet. It's just that, you know, unfortunately, priorities, you know, priorities. And there we go. We're going to have the doll built. There you go. The nade... The nade combat dummy with three dozen health. So that's going to actually inquire a lot of, uh... It's going to require the attention of the raiders because apparently they're so dumb they can't realize that this dummy here is uh, not a person. So they're just kind of like, oh, got to fight that. They're kind of like a bull, essentially. We're just kind of like, oh, I got to fight this. Can't not see red. Okay. This is kind of a, what the fuck's going on with this weird set? <laughs> There's like 70 different shades going on over here. It's kind of weird. Um, Can I no roof region part of this just to create no roof? <laughs> this is weird as all hell. Okay, never mind. I guess it's taking care of itself now. Alright, so now that we've done that, we could definitely move this and this out of the way. And honestly, now that we're going to have these solar generators not be an issue for us here, we could essentially uh, roof this over now. And that's going to be good, because we're going to have to put the mining tool in there, obviously, and then we'll do the tool. So let's do this really quickly. What I want to do, then, is... Uh, first and foremost, uh, have this power conduit run through there, so that we have some power being generated to that. And then we'll have a laser drill right here in the center. And now let's go and ba -ba -ba -ba, remove, nope, remove no roof region. And I want this to be roofed over now. I want all of this to be roofed over as a matter of fact. So, um, how am I going to get that to happen though? Let's see, Muffalo sh Shaman? A Muffalo Shaman from Gabella Curly is passing by. She is like, okay, what do I care if she's a fucking shaman? This game is too, like, uh, telling me, like, all the details in the world about this person. It's like, oh, by the way, he's a shaman of the Muffalo. Just in case you're interested, Falcon. I'm, I'm really not, game, but thank you for the, I guess, tidbit there. I guess I'll have, I'll be sure not to insult the Muffalo around the shaman. Or I was going to take really offense to it. Um, all right. This is obviously not roofed over yet. So what I need to do to roof this over is what again? I forget all the time. Let's see, would it be like building a, like a metal wall, like a, a support pillar? It could possibly be. Let's put a support pillar right there just to test this out. It's it's always tricky. It's, it's always tricky. It's like, wait a minute, how do you make that roof region again? So uh, I need somebody to build this fast, please. Just to kind of test my theory out here. If I could get this closed off, I will be a happy camper to be quite honest with you. There you go. Excellent. So now this is roofed over. The reason why we wanted to do this is because now if we have a ray that lands inside, I want to say that they can't go through the roof. I want to say that's the case because last time when they invaded inside, they primarily landed in here because um, it was no roof, right? Some of them landed outside and then they, some of them spilled over in here. So let's test it out. I'm not sure if that's the case or not, but, you know, let me just take a wild shot in the dark here and assume that this is going to... You know, close over this area, and then we have less to worry about here now. Um, I would love to do the same over here, and I probably will. My long-term goal is to kind of get rid of this stuff here as well, and also go with geothermals by using the laser drill. But, you know, one step at a time right now. I feel that this is good enough for at least this point of the game. Everything else here seems to be up and running. I wanted more defenses for here, just in case they do land over here. All I have right now is, like, you know, some blast charge here, which is not going to do much for us in reality, but... Uh, I'm not sure how to do something here without, you know, risking too much long-term damage to the colony. Like, I suppose I could put a blast charge here and another one there. I guess we'll do that just in case, uh, you know, but obviously we are very vulnerable down here. 
I could probably put up more turrets to kind of face this area. I don't know. Uh, I'm still contemplating it. Maybe I should contemplate it sooner, though, and not put it off for later, which I always have a tendency to do. Where it's kind of like, yeah, guys, I'll think about it later. Next thing you know, later comes around, and I'm just like, oh, I never got around to it. Uh-oh, we're dead. That's a bad thing. Um, but yeah, I'll just leave it alone for now. Typical Falcon, right? Okay, all good. So that's built there just in case. By the way, um, can we take a little moment to kill these fucking vermin inside of my base? That would be great. So Samuel Lee, you come in. Melee attack here. Davis Vice, melee attack this guy. Robin, melee attack this guy. Alrighty, good. Good, 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 good. I like that. Alrighty, come on guys. Just get those knockouts out of the way. Robin, you are free to go. Thank you, sir. Excellent. And... Got the stair. You're good to go, Samuel Lee. Let's get rid of this last, uh, thank you. Out of the way, and then... Unrecruit. Alrighty, perfect. Any any more of these vermin inside? They're, you know, just causing havoc. Doing shit they're not supposed to. Doesn't seem like it for now. Um, there's this squirrel over here. I guess we'll take care of him, too. Uh, Judo Shop, if you may, can you come and, uh, kill the squirrel as well? Teach these guys not to come into our base anymore. It pisses me off when they're in here for no reason. Hanged it off. There you go. If anything, it's at least free meat for us, and, you know, that's always good. No more inside? Nope. Not particularly. It's not that I'm seeing inside. Nah. It's all good. It's all good, man. What do we have here? Solar Flare! A Solar Flare is not a blue event. Stop giving me blue events as a Solar Flares and Eclipses or not. There goes all of our power. That's the reason why it's not a blue event. And alright, those will get dragged off soon enough. Uh, let's see. Here's our laser drill. Excellent. Alright, I'm I'm really enjoying what's happening right now. We finally seem to have gotten stuff together. Um, what I did mention was the pod bed, right? I guess we could do that for most of these beds. If we really require the meadow, I guess we could always switch over, but is that really a priority right now? I don't think so. I mean, we can start building from now on pod beds, but... I don't know, man. It seems kind of a hassle right now. So I'm going to leave it alone for this time. And what I wanted to do, we got all the metal here, which is excellent. I want to continue mining over here to find to see if we can find more metal. By the way, we're almost about to call it quits. Well, not call it quits, but we're about to almost mine out what's out there for us. We could mine down over here to a little bit and probably do something crazy over here. I'm not sure what to do here just yet, but the ability, the option is there for us for sure. Let me get the game running in regular time. Meanwhile... Um, alrighty, so for now, let's actually just prettify the rooms that are available. How about that? Just so that, you know, it's not unfair for the new, like, the older guys to come, or the newer people to come in and be like, man, how come we don't have any lights or, you know, sweet fucking wooden panels? Um, do I want wooden panels or do I want to switch it up, though? You know what, this looks like its own segment, right? So I'll let, I'll switch it up. Right now, this will be wood panels because it's still kind of connected to this area. So for this one, yeah, wood panels, uh through that and the entrance. Have I gotten all the entrances, by the way? I always forget to get the entrances. Nope. See, I didn't get those two last two right there. And what about here? Seems to be okay. Alrighty, good. Good, good. Um, what do we have here? <laughs> Solar flare along with an eclipse, you know. Only in RimWorld, right? So, we've gotten into wooden panels for that. That's all good and dandy. Um, we would love to get some lights in there as well, so I'll do that soon. But first, let's take care of their floors, and then we'll take care of the lights. Especially since right now, let's not talk about lights right now, considering all the fucking events that are going on that are trying to drain the lights from us. Let's go with, um, hmm. Yeah, you know, I could use carpets. It just carpets seem like so, like, you know, passe at this point, where it's just like, yeah, they used to be okay, but we've moved on from it. But I, I guess that's the only other alternative I got going on here, right? Paved pile. Yeah, I don't want to do a paved tile. Yeah, but they're not very pretty. I want it to be kind of pretty at the very least. Wood panels are pretty to me anyway. Metal dark panels, we... Have we used the metal dark panels? Yeah, we used it for uh, this area. I like how that looks. And then we used dark concrete already. We used ceramic already. I'm not sure if we've used metal panels, but they look kind of similar to me. Alright, let's just do the carpets. Sure, why not? So, let's uh, bring a little bit of color into the base here. So, that'll be red. Then over here, we'll have, obviously, blue. Slime Frog already took care of the... Uh... <laughs> Slime Frog already claimed the, the pod bed. He was like, fuck that. Dibs on the pod bed. Good for you. Good for you. I'm not gonna hate on that for you. Alright, so that's gonna require two, unfortunately, for these fucking rooms. 
little bit of a pain in the ass, but okay, no big problem, I guess, overall. It is kind of a sizable amount of metal, 624, Jesus Christ. Never mind, we might have to switch over to pod beds all around after all. Man, that's a lot of metal. Alright, so meanwhile that happens then, let's actually start mining a bit more again, just so that we could find some extra metal if that indeed comes the case. Not a big problem, I could always smelt weapons, I mean, there's other ways to get metal, so... Ultimately, I am kind of making it a big deal right now, and I don't really necessarily have. What do we have here? A group of travelers? Yeah, you could go after yourselves. Um, so what I'll do is start like mining, in, mining out a new set of rooms, I guess, just to you know give us the possibility of finding more um, metal, and that's always good for us, as a matter of fact. So obviously, this is the again the calm down period of Rim World where you kind of have to micromanage some things like this, but that is all right for now. And then, doorway, 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 doorway. Oh, look, found some metal ore. Oh, wrong one. Don't do it on that one. Cancel this one. What happened here now? Oh, we found a uh, geothermal inside. That's actually pretty good. Although it's kind of bad because it ruins the integrity of what I have going on here. Where it's kind of like, uh-oh. Now we're, we can't build a room there. But that's okay. I'm going to actually use that for something. Well, for power, obviously. So I'm going to have to uh, use, I'm going to have to make rooms around that, unfortunately. That's okay. I guess what we'll do is we'll, s well, keep it all the way over here. This is not going to be a room anymore. We're going to have to switch this layout soon enough, but we'll get to that at some point. Uh, mine this out, and then we'll give myself some doorways here really quickly. And then we'll do room, room. You guys remember last episode, or last, not last episode, but last series where I had like the huge giant rooms and, you know, everybody had like fucking parties in there all the time. Well, that's not going to happen this time around. I'm being a little bit more cautious about how I use my space, but it was pretty cool. It was nice while it lasted. Um, at least for the people who lived in that colony, they could be like, yeah, you know, I lived back in the time when Falcon used to give us like giant ass rooms and we had like all the parties in the world here. Mental break soon. That's not good. That's because they're in the dark though. That's understandable. Um, I guess we should probably alleviate that by using some power conduits and extending this out over here. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to use the bird conduits for that. Because it requires metal as well, so let's just use the regular power conduits, and we're going to extend this all the way up there here anyway, because we do need the light resource. And I suppose we could also do it through here. Jesus. Power conduits, like... Take up a lot of spool. That's the reason why I'm always using like uh, <laughs> I'm always having like you know people building spools because Jesus Christ, they just eat up like they eat up like crazy. Look at that. So we use another one down through here. I'm gonna have to obviously we're not gonna be able to build all of these by the way. So we're gonna have to build some of them and then later on we'll have to essentially do the rest here. Uh, bring you all the way down through there I suppose and same with this one. And same with this one. Alright, and then we'll have another one here. Jesus Christ, these power conduits are just eating out through my resources. Alright. What I'll do is move that through here. Yeah, so believe me, we're going to have to build a lot more wire spools. So let's make sure that that's being done. Um, blacksmith, nothing going on here. Many guns. Uh, how did this even go? I'm not sure. Let's just take that off though for now. And spool, obviously, we have to build a lot more. So, repeat 211 times? How about you just do forever? Because, obviously, that's going to be a thing. Need all the spool in the world, unfortunately. Alright, so, we have some rooms coming in pretty nicely in there, finally. Getting some floors for the rest of them. They'll get light soon enough, believe me, they will. But for now, let's call it an episode, guys. What the hell is this? Yeah, whatever. Let's call it an episode here today. Um, overall, a really good episode. We got a lot of stuff done. We're laying the groundwork, so what we should do, we've actually sealed off this area here, which I really wanted to do. And our power supply is good. Metal supply is kind of going a bit low, but we'll find stuff to mine out easily, especially as we're going through here. We have all the food in the world, so everything's going really good right now. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I'll catch you next time.